Hi, welcome to part 3 on my tutorial of Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. Now, in this part I'm going to be showing you how to insert an image, a video, or a file. Now the first thing that you need to do is insert a table. So I'm going to insert a table with one row and two columns. And I'm going to keep the table width at 200 pixels and I'm going to click OK. The table should insert and I'm going to drag it out and align it to the center. Each time I drag it out, it's getting bigger, which means the web page will also be bigger. The bigger I make it, the bigger the web page will be, no matter how much text you have. The first thing that I'm going to show you to do is to insert an image. So basically, you click on this little down arrow and you can insert an image, a placeholder, rollover image, fireworks HTML, or a navigation bar for the image. I'm just going to insert an image and I'll probably insert this. So I'll click OK and my image would have inserted. Now to make this smaller I'm going to hold down shift and take the corner in. Obviously the table has gone really big and the reason that being is because how big the photo is. The photo's dimensions are actually quite big. That's why it was so big to start off with. But this, as you can see, is the width and the height that you want it to be. You can also change that depending on how big you want it. Now when you've got that image, you can also make a link to it. You can also create a rollover for it as well. Which that could originally insert this. And now have this. Now I'm going to get rid of that, I don't like it, but as you can see, if you have one image and your mouse goes over it, it'll go onto another one. That's basically what your image rollover is. Now to insert media, the best thing to do would be to probably, if you have a video, convert it into an FLV file to be able to watch it on the actual web page. So to get it into the FLV file you will need an, a media converter which will convert into an FLV file. So once you have your FLV file, which is basically flash video, you can insert it by clicking basically on the FLV. You can insert the URL down here or the file name. And you have your normal skin. the FLV file and so that's how to insert your FLV you can also insert a shockwave flash which is a game which is basically a shockwave game into a flash file like flash video you can insert a shockwave which is basically like a music file into a shockwave file that, which you can use onto your website a java applet a java param and active x control and a plugin. Now these things are good when you have a website that's going to have quite a lot of games, videos and music on your website, which this one obviously isn't going to, but it's a gr it's a great little thing that you can use for media websites. Now when you're uploading your files, you're going to need to write the text first. So I'm going to write my text
and select the whole text and click on hyperlink. If you click on the little link button, you can go onto a file. So this needs to be in the website folder, as I said, and you click OK. And OK. And as you can see, you have your file here. So I'm going to hit save. Hit F12 to open up in my normal browser. That should open up in Internet Explorer. And obviously there's an ActiveX control on this website, so I'm just going to click here for options, allow block to contact, and click yes. And so I'll have my image, and I'll have my file. And if I click on this, you'll either be able to download it, or obviously it'll, it'll open up in your normal media file. So you can make it so it only downloads, or you can make it so it runs, so it, like a temporary file, so it doesn't actually download it. But basically, you can make this. You can make it so when they click on it, it will actually download it, or when they click on it, it'll just open up whatever it is. That's why whenever you've got a file like this, usually you'd put it in a zip folder, which is a folder which allows you to actually download the file, because it'll open up in your zip file. Al another little good thing here is inserting an email link. So say I insert an email. And I have my email here. I can select it all. I can click on this email link here, and it will make it so the text and email is whatever the email address is. Click OK, and you have your email. Hit Save and F12, and it will open up your internet browser. Now make the ActiveX controls run, and you have your down on the left-hand corner, which you can't see it now, but if you highlight it then it says mail to. So if you click on this, you'll probably open up, well this didn't this time because Microsoft Office Outlook has apparently stopped working for some reason, but it'll open up your normal mail client and you can basically email from there. So that's another good little trick on it as well. So basically I have shown you how to insert your image, your media, your files, and your mail links. This is all for part three. Part four is actually going to include all the basically advanced, more stuff that you're going to be inserting on your web page. Basically, your sign up pages, your sign in pages, and anything else which uses a lot of this. So, thanks for listening to part three. I hope you watch part four.